Hey everyone, this is Valentin from musicgreatness.com and in today's lesson, we are going to learn Letter to the Free by Common featuring Bilal. And it sounds just like this. Alright guys, so in this first part, we are going to learn the introduction and the main riff of the song. Let's break down the chords, but first, here is the scale. We are in C minor. So we have B, E and A flat. Okay, so we start on the C minor chord, playing C, E flat on the left and G, C on the right. Then we go and play this G minor 11, playing G, F on the left and A, B flat, C, F on the right hand. So here we have the 9th and the 11th. Okay, then right after we'll play this F minor 9. And here we are on the fourth degree of the scale. And we have F, E flat on the left and G, A flat, C on the right. Very nice. Then we'll just change the F on the bass and we'll play a B flat instead. And that gives us the next chord, which is an A flat major 7 over B flat. And we'll finish by playing this chord. E flat over B flat. So we have B flat on the left and E flat. And on the right hand we'll play G B flat. All right guys, let's quickly recap together. So we start on C minor. Then we play this G minor 11 chord. Then we go to the 4th degree and we play this F minor 9. Then from here we just change the F to a B flat. And we have A flat major 7 over B flat. And we'll end on this E flat major over B flat. Good job guys! Now let's break down the introduction. During the introduction the left hand is going to play C's in octaves, just like that. And you're really free of playing it the way you want. You can play it slowly, then accelerate slowly. And that's all the left hand is going to do during this part. So I'll cover the right hand. We start like this. So we play C, then C minor in first inversion with a little arpeggio into E flat and then this chord. And remember, it's the right hand that we use on the G minor 11 chord. So G minor 11 on the right. So again it goes. Then we repeat this G minor 11 on the right into E flat. And then we play this. C, B 
flat, A flat, G, just going down the scale. So again from the top it goes. Just wait as long as you want and then go back. Then from here we'll play this. So it goes G, A flat, E flat together, C, B flat and then C minor first inversion. And we'll end by playing E flat, C. And then from here we'll play B flat, G into C minor first inversion, but this time we arpeggio it from the top. Instead of doing this, we play this. So it goes B flat, G, C minor, and then E flat, C, G. Okay, that's quite a lot for this introduction. So let's recap from the top. We'll add the left hand, which is quite simple. It goes. Little introduction with the left hand. And then. You wait as long as you want. That's the end of the introduction. Congratulations. Okay, so let's break down the main riff now. It goes like this. And that's all. Okay, so we start by playing this C minor chord like this. So as you can see, we'll play a B flat that slides into a C on the right hand, like this. Then we'll play E flat into G minor 11. Then we repeat this G minor 11 with a little arpeggio into E flat again. And then we play F minor 9. Again from the top. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Very nice. Then from here, instead of repeating this chord, we'll just change the C to an E flat. And we add again a little arpeggio like this, into C, B flat, and then A flat major 7 over B flat. Once again together. Very nice. And then from here, we'll play E flat over B flat, with, again, a little arpeggio into G and we'll finish by playing this C minor. So again from the F minor 9 it goes like this. Very nice. Okay so from the top with the counts. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very nice. So that's the pattern. We'll add a little thing on the second time we play it and on the fourth time. We'll just play right after the this end chord, we'll play this. E flat, C, G. 
So, it would go like this. Alright guys, that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you want to see more, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching and if you've liked the video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. See you in the next lesson.